there. I'm Father John Ganey of the Paulist Fathers, and you're watching Some Sense. For about 11 years, I lived in Baltimore, two different hitches. But one thing was a constant, and that is that during those 11 years, one period I was the Director of Communications for the Archdiocese of Baltimore, and the second spin was when I was the Priest Director of Catholic Relief Services. The common bond, at least common in one sense, is that whenever I would travel into the city of Baltimore or go further north, I usually would go on the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Now, in the past few weeks or months, you have been hearing a great deal about that bridge. I can tell you this much, having gone over it many, many, many times, it was one beautiful bridge. It just had a gorgeous design. It made you stop and think as you were driving along, you know, this thing is really beautiful. Well, it has come to terrible times in the past few weeks. In fact, it has been broken apart. One thing that you never think will ever happen to a bridge like that. And it was broken by a, a, a big boat. <laughs> That's not the way that you really talk about it, but it was one big loaded boat that hit it and brought it down. And the problem with all of these things is that people are involved. And in this case, six people have not been found, not reported as being dead. But what is the other solution? There is no other solution. So it's a very sad moment that comes into our lives, perhaps more than we realize. And sometimes I think we need to reflect on it. Psalm 39 does a beautiful job of reflecting the meaning of sudden death. Doesn't say those words, but nevertheless, this is what it does say. How short the span of days you have given me, O Lord. My life is as nothing in your sight. Surely all humankind stands as but a breath. A person surely lives as a shadow. Surely the riches a person hoards a mere breath. He or she does not know who will gather them. The psalmist is telling us there how short sometimes our lives will be and how difficult death will be for all of us. What is key is that we all realize or know or try to understand that our lives really are short and we do not know when they will end. God is there for us at times like this. At times when people who are looking forward to what we call, or what I call anyway, a person who comes to these shores to do better. Immigrants who come here to have better lives for themselves and their families. And sometimes it just doesn't work the way we expect. For some sense, I'm Father John Ganey. My time is up. I thank you for yours.